Hello. Today we're going to have a look at whether your gun fits you. Gun fit. I had a request from a subscriber from Sweden about a week or so ago and he said, why don't you do a, a video on gun fit? So I've had a look at the topic and um, I'm here with my trusty Beretta 686 Sporter and I think that this gun fits me perfectly. So we're going to test it out tonight in front of the video here to see whether it truly does fit me and what we need to do to make sure that our gun does fit us properly. A fitting, a well-fitting gun is important because then the gun will shoot where we look. And that's why gun fit is important. But if our mount is not consistent, then our gun fit isn't important so we've got to get a consistent gun mount and then of course gun fit is important but gun mount is more important than gun fit because if we mount the gun differently we're going to shoot in a different place and I've said that and people say that all the time so gun fit ensures that our line our eye is in line with the center of the rib of the gun so in getting a gun, empty gun, in getting a gun to fit you properly, we look at cast. And cast is whether the top of the stock goes to the left or to the right. That's the, the cast of the stock. The comb is the top part of the, of the stock. If the gun if you want to shoot higher, you raise the stock. If you want to shoot lower, you lower the stock. I've put a gel pad on mine because when I mounted the gun, I couldn't. I, my eye was a little bit below the rib, so I needed to lift my eye up a little bit. So the comb needs to be the comb needs to be raised if you can't see enough of the rib it needs to be lowered if you see too much of the rib if it fits you perfectly you should just be able to see a tiny bit of that rib just a tiny bit of the rib at the front if you can see too much of the rib then your eye is too high on the stock okay so then we also, for a perfect gun fit, we also need to work out our length of pull. And our length of pull of the gun, if the gun is too short or too long for us. So our, the tip of our nose needs to be approximately two inches, a bit less or a bit more, but two inches or five centimetres, the tip of our nose from the knuckle on our, the back knuckle of our thumb. So I'm going to demonstrate it and the gun is empty. So when I mount my gun, I won't be able to look, but you'll see if my tip of my nose is about two inches from the back knuckle of my thumb. So I mount my gun and my tip of the nose should be, the tip of the nose should be about two inches from the knuckle there. And I can't see it, but you can work out whether it's two inches. I'm pretty sure it is two inches because I've looked in the mirror when I practice. So that's length of pull. So, like we said, proper gun fit is to ensure that our gun shoots where we look. Now, there is a brilliant little way of making sure that your gun fits. And what is this brilliant, simple way? We tape, we get some blue tack or a bit of tape and we get a drinking straw and we put the straw from there to there and we fix it to the top of the rib so that here we've got a drinking straw, a drinking straw. Then we mount our gun and if we can't see right through that drinking straw, then our gun doesn't fit properly. Because if our eye is too much to the right, we won't be able to see down the centre of that straw 
If it's too far to the left, we won't be able to see through that straw. So put a straw from here to there, mount the gun, and then see if your gun fits you. And that, I think, is a brilliant way to check. Our gun fit is controlled 100% by, 100 by our ability to mount the gun properly. When you mount the gun, it should be just about level with your shoulder. So we mount the gun, should be level with my shoulder. Mount the gun again, see if it comes to the same place. I hope so. And mount the gun a third time, and I hopefully it'll come to the same place. Okay, you probably can't see it very well on the video. The other thing to remember about gun fit is, if our weight changes 10% or more, it'll affect our gun fit. Because if we put on weight, will plump up a bit and our, and our face will change. If we lose weight, we'll end up and our face will be different on the stock. So if we lose 10% weight or gain 10% weight, we've got to check our gun fit. Anyway, we should be checking our gun fit regularly. So I hope that I haven't missed anything out. I think I've put in all the important bits, but try the straw one. And make sure you get in front of a mirror and you check that the middle of your eye is in line with the top rib of your barrel. And I'm going to show you how it should look like. But I have to aim to the side of the phone camera because the camera's on the side, not in the centre. So this is how it should be. So gun mount, we start with the muzzle at eye level. We bring it slightly forward up to our cheek. And that's what it should look like. And my eye should be in line with that rib. Okay. I hope that was useful about gun fit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.